Kyle Kuzma had a little back. Actually, it wasn't even a back and forth. He sort of came at you, and you said they're not trying to play winning basketball. He responds on Twitter. The funny thing is they don't play winning basketball. But you didn't do anything else on Twitter. Do you have a response now that it's been some time? <laughs> oh, man. Didn't I just say I was petty? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> so here's the thing, right? And obviously, I spent some time in uh, D.C. with uh, with Kuz. Um, what's, what's that thing Draymond just said where he said... Uh, <laughs> Insecurity is loud. <laughs> yeah. Right? Um, so basically, here's what happened, right? Um, we lost to them. I was on the Mavericks. And obviously, uh, we have a MVP caliber guy, and, and we're trying to be a uh, championship caliber team. Just went to the West Conference Finals, et cetera, et cetera. So I make a statement about, you know, we need to be better, um, understanding the, the culture and how games are kind of played in D.C. and saying, you know, that's an unacceptable loss in that fashion. You know, he decides to respond because I guess he felt like it was a shot at him. <laughs> Um, and I wanted to respond, you know, my, my agent told me to stand down that we had, you know, bigger fish to fry things to do, um, get to the playoffs, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, now I'm not in that environment. Um, I'm in the playoffs. He's not. And, you know, to address, <laughs> there it is. um, no, I'm just saying to, to address the socialite, right? Like there's a lot of guys in the NBA that really pour their heart and soul into basketball, um, are willing to do whatever it takes to win. There are a lot of guys that have different things that drive them and motivate them. I think if we look at, you know, him and the way he approaches um, life, fame, all that stuff, that we could see that, you know, his priorities tend to vary, right? Like, that's why dressed the way he does, he, you know, approaches basketball the way he does, the comments he makes. Um, and like I said with the Draymond quote, insecurity is loud. Like, you, you know that you're there, you know, shooting shots to try to get a contract. You're probably not... Uh, even a third star really on a good team because if you were the Lakers would have kept you right part of the reason you left was to try to make more money like these are all things that are, are facts and so at the end of my career one thing that I want to be known besides a guy that did whatever it took to win in whatever spot he was at is a guy that was also very honest and so like my complete response to you know coups and all that other stuff to address it directly I mean I played with the guy you know what I mean we we know what the priorities were and you know a lot of times people thought I was talking about Brad or whatever anything like that I I look at Brad in the same light as like a dame. I think he's loyal to DC. I think, you know, probably on a championship team, he's probably got to be paired with like a Giannis. He's probably 1B, um, which is no shot. I know on a championship team, you know, I'm probably the, the third guy, kind of like a Drew Holiday with a Chris Middleton and, you know, Giannis or whatever. Um, I'm very secure with who I am in my career. Um, I know on a really good team, I can be a number two, kind of like we are right here with the Brooklyn Nets. We got Mikael, we got me. We're still a playoff team. We're able to keep the ship right. Um, but in DC, if you got three max dudes, Porzingis, Brad, and Kuz, like how you miss the playoff? Like it doesn't. None of these things make sense. You know what I'm saying? Unless your priorities aren't in order. And so I would say that's my probably full monologue to that. Are you and Kyle?